Hi, I'm Will Cram, and today we're taking a look at Unreal's MetaHuman Creator. Um, it's just had a launch for early access, and basically it's a program that allows you to create models of lifelike appearance, as you can see here. So these are the default models that will load when you access the um, program for the first time but you can then create your own model. So I'm just going to show you the close-up detail, highly realistic, but then you can take it to another level. I'm not sure how to do that. This is my first time launching this, and I only get one hour to experiment with it, is that you're able to sort of animate this and sync that up with your um, program. So what I should really try and do, if possible, I'm not sure that's going to work, is to show the um, stats. I'm not sure that how I could do that, but um, let's uh, load some other models and just have a look. So I'm running this on an RTX 3090, but it's currently running it through Google Chrome. And the idea of this uh, video is just so I can demonstrate to you the really nice detail of the models. Very uh, photorealistic, basically. Great for video game characters or any kind of social application. But you've got to remember these aren't necessarily real people. These are um, CGI people. So they're not, might, they might be based on uh, real people, but um, they're not actually real people, if you get my meaning. So it's interesting to note here different skin qualities. So, um, I think another thing in detail as well, worth mentioning, which a lot of games don't necessarily get right, is the hair. That's a sort of big giveaway in terms of uh, characters looking realistic. But I mean, if you look closely here, hopefully my 4K video can show all these finer details. If you look very, very close, you can see the fine hairs on the nose and nostrils slightly belief the uh, lower lip as well the chin very fine hairs um, obviously if you look at any human male or female um, there's lots of fine hairs so let's have a look at the uh, darker skin tone and see how that sort of looks I mean, from a gaming perspective, there's lots of video games now where um, the character models are extremely realistic looking. I mean, let's just give a good example of a game that released last year, The Last of Us Part 2 on the PlayStation 4. Now that had um, very highly detailed models. I've got a video on my channel with the model viewer, but are they as good as this? Um, that's uh, up for debate. I think this is probably cutting edge stuff. And for me, what I would really enjoy to see here is this sort of implementation of character model in VR applications. Let's look at the uh, Asian skin tone. And I think that would be uh, pretty amazing to have this kind of level of detail of characters. I think in, even in any game, but I think um, big budget games already have character models that are highly detailed especially during their sort of cutscene moments and um yeah so but for lesser lesser developed or lesser budget games um may struggle to get these kind of high detailed models so maybe with this application now it's going to open it up to more developers a chance to incorporate more lifelike looking characters in their games and software applications. So there's quite a few models here. I'm not going to go through all of them. But yeah, you're seeing the, the fine details. Um, unfortunately, I can't show the performance. I'd love to see what the performance is like in a real application. So you can see the full body there. And um, yeah, it'd be nice to know in an actual um, real world setting what kind of hit on the VRAM this would take 
So there's an option here now to create a human. I've not tried that, so let's have a look at what that is. I think that's probably where you save them. Create metahuman. Let's go back to her, use her as a kind of template. This character uses assets. So I guess you could change um, things like the hairstyle using assets from the Epic Store, the Unreal Store. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to do to change any of this. Um, yeah, so you've got various buttons to control where your camera zooms to. There's probably a lot more in this program that I'm not showing. So it's like, that's just showing you the camera zoom to various points in the body, which is cool. Choose a starting point for your new character. All right, that's correct. So we'll choose that and then go to next. Okay, now we're getting to the real stuff. So now it's animated. So this has just got a basic idle animation. So you can see now, it's um, just casually sort of being animated, which is quite cool. So again, you've got all these options here now to showcase, let's see if that shows the um, frame rate. There you go, 41 FPS. So, I'm not sure how that is being affected by my uh, GPU, if at all. So let's have a look at the body. If we zoom out, then there's various camera controls. Let me just move those stats for the time being. I think it's probably going to lock at around 40 FPS. You can change the body shape, which is quite nice. So you notice there her face changed. If you look at her face, let's move in. So one zooms into the face. If we change her to a large character, you can see how her neck sort of increased in size. So that's kind of like a one-touch option, which is quite cool. And then um, got various clothes. Again, you can change the color of those. And bottoms. Not many options, but I think obviously you can... Uh, change the um, or import stuff from the store so there you go it's an option to change the hairstyle so this is all pretty cool stuff really interesting um, model creator as you know on my channel I'm very much into character creation software and um, yeah this is looking really good that hair is especially is fantastic really realistic the way the light is shining off that as well as the uh, the density i think as well of that particular hairstyle is really nice suits her well so as you can see on the right of the screen there's a lot more options as well to uh, change the sculpt as well i think that's possibly to move some of these facial features so let's have a look all right, the blending option. So that's interesting where you can sort of blend various characters to make a new sort of character. So let's give that a go. Blend these three characters and create a new character. I wonder how I can do this. Um, right, you've got these points here. And so it's using a drag system, which is quite cool. So this kind of system is quite easy to use. You get that real-time visual display of what you're changing. So I'm not sure that this has all worked yet. Um, I'm not sure how to actually make that happen. Blend, no. I mean, let's try and put her there as well. So you can blend like quite a few different characters if I knew which button it was to actually blend. Let's have a look here on the right. So yeah, I mean, it's quite an easy program to use. Let's have a look, hide the hair, got that option. Studio, select the environment. So indoors, so that'll give you different lighting effects. Because obviously how 
the character looks in the daytime. The nighttime will change the looks of the character quite dramatically, as you can see here. So let's reset the lights. So you've got all these options to change. So yes, yeah, got all the features that you'd expect from a character creation software. Let's get that hair a bit tied back so you can see her face a bit better. There you go. And let's see if we can change the skin tone. So you've got all these kind of options here for freckles. Um, then obviously you've got this to be able to make it a bit darker, lighter, so that's all good. But let's put her back in the studio. I mean, you get that, it looks a lot more realistic in the studio, which is uh, cool. Right, let's get rid of all of these um, points here as well. I mean, you can sit here and start moving stuff around and really sort of creating your own characters, which is something I enjoy doing, but it's kind of time consuming. But obviously, uh, you've got this blend option where you can just quickly create the um, these different characters. I'm not sure how it works. There must be an option. Then you can adjust per region. Right, so that's allowing you to adjust these options based on those characters, I believe, that you're choosing there. So already she's looking different. Let's close that off. Yeah, some quite drastic sort of changes there. And then obviously if you make a mistake, you've got these undo and redo options, which is nice to have. Yeah, give us some bigger eyelashes. So yeah, I mean, this is looking pretty good. I mean, um, it's a good uh, program to create lifelike, realistic characters. And again, if we go back to the main, let's move that out of the way now back to the main menu if I can figure where that is the preview I think that is um, with the uh, idle animation and you've got that really kind of realistic looking character wonderful to just have that very easily at your disposal oh wonderful so let's just pause that for a second and just change her eye color for a second, um, eyes, and give her sort of blue eyes. Now it's changed the kind of look and then her hair color um, from, yeah, a bit lighter to match those Scandinavian blue eyes. And then the lips, let's see what we can do with that. Uh, oh, makeup as well, so give her a bit more darker makeup. Yeah, this is, this is good stuff. Impressive. Um, lipstick, can we do that? Lips, yeah. So they've got you covered here. This is really nice. They want to change that to a bit of a red, more reddish colour, not that pinky. I'm sure we can change the intensity. Yeah, it's a bit bright that, so let's just bring that a bit more subtle like that. Very nice. Eye colour can be a bit more darker. Like that. There you go. You've got your own sort of character that you've made now. Um, what else can I do with this? I mean, you, you can go back to the sculpt mode and change the um, finer details. But let's just animate her now. I wonder if there's more animations. But, I mean, that's pretty impressive. And then you can obviously zoom out. She's a bit on the big side, so we can uh, <laughs> put her back down to a normal size again. I say normal, sorry ladies, um, a slimmer size. It's not necessarily normal, um, an average size, shall I say. Not meaning to offend anybody here. Okay, and then let's just focus on that face. I think that's the main 
thing as well and I guess this is being unreal you've got access to a ton of different hairstyles and clothing options from the store that you can use and um, yeah this is fantastic I'm sure there's other things you can do with this in terms of making her talk and um, animate in that way rather than just sit there looking around but that is pretty nice and very realistic looking let's just move the camera up just keep her there yeah this is good I like it very easy to use yeah I like that that's pretty cool and obviously everything you do now is in real time as well which is great so um, I'm going to change the color of that top as well I mean it's a bit boring color you see just happening in real time yeah let's make it a bit moody black and purple I mean it's not very yeah, there's a bit too much intensity on this color here so you need to turn the saturation down a bit so it's less glowy there you go a nice white shirt and then let's change that hair color again make it a bit darker there you go And that's just all happened in real time at a touch of a button. And again, like I said, that hair, the way the light is shining off that hair is pretty fantastic. I mean, let's just try a different hairstyle. Yeah, it looks like someone I know. Um, yep, great. Back to the uh, presets. So yeah, I think mean, that's really cool stuff, and um, yeah, I'm gonna have fun playing with this. But obviously, they only give you an hour per session. There's lots of people experimenting with this, and I'm sure people with a lot of skill will be able to do some really fantastic stuff here with this. So um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. This is a uh, Metahumans, uh, very interesting stuff, and um, yeah, I like it. The uh, future's looking good if uh, people can get to use this and put it in their projects. Okay, I'm Rob Cram, thanks for watching.